Hello everyone, you're here with Claru Beauty with Claudia Lara. And so today um, we're going to be doing something different. Today one of you uh, asked me about the pencil sharpener. They asked me, or you asked me, what was the pencil sharpener that I use? You know, I was surprised by that question because I never thought about it, <laughs> you know, and I haven't seen a YouTube about it either, a YouTube video. So today I thought of doing this. Let's see how it comes up. Uh, well, first of all, if you recognize my look, uh, I just did a video with everything that I have on, which was the Chanel LeBeige and most of the Charlotte Tilbury, you know, her face palette and, uh, and her lipstick and Mr. Kisses. And um, so if you want to see how I apply the makeup for today video, please check the video listed below. Now let's continue. So pencil sharpeners, you remember, I mean, I don't know if, you, if you're as old or as age as me, <laughs> but we used to use pencils all the time. At least in school, we definitely did the number two. It was even for SAT and, and tests. If you recall, it was all about filling the little circles with a number two pencil. And so, I guess sharpeners were very important for that. And I remember I searched for the best sharpeners because it was always so nice to use a good sharpener, a good sharpen pencil to begin with to start. And then the automatic uh, sharpeners came about. I mean, I remember it was fancy. You know, if you in your office, you had the electronic sharpener and you would just put the, thing, the, the pencil there and it would, it would come out perfect but it would come up perfect for pencils which was yes very pointy but the kind of the wood came all the way up it was not a short thing it was kind of a, a longer sort of thing at least that was my experience and uh so when we're talking about makeup well, it's a little different right i mean you don't want that very kind of back up of the wood you want kind of a short sort of pointy because it protects the color, it doesn't dry it out, it, it also, you know, makes it for your pencil to last longer, etc. So, yes, but you know what? Until this person asked me this question, so thank you. <laughs> I was like, that is true. I've been struggling with the sharpener and, and, and what do I really actually use? Now, I have purchased expensive eye sharpeners and very, very inexpensive, cheap. I mean, I'm talking even in Mexico, you know, the what you will find in the store in the middle of a small town or something like that. And my finding is that there's no coherence of when you find a good sharpener. There's times that you find it very inexpensively and there's times that uh, the most expensive, they don't really work that great. So I don't know what to tell you about sharpeners. Yet, what I have done is a lot of luxury brands, when you buy their, uh, li their eyeliner or sometimes a lip liner, in the case comes with a sharpener. I think it's the case for Bobbi Brown, Chanel, things like that. So I always put it in this little uh, case and I just throw them there. I never just dispose of them thinking that you know as when i need it i'll go there and those are on you so they'll sharpen better right because there will be fresh blades that's my thinking it's not necessarily the case and so um you know i don't really have an answer just so you know fyi so if you're looking through the whole video to find an answer hmm well i guess i'll find it with you because what i want to do is try and sharpen some of my um eyeliners since they all probably need sharpener and see the difference so what i have here for example most of this like i have the pat mcgrath which i think is one of my favorites this is the one i mostly use for all the brands so this is the one i've been using the most and we'll see if it really is that there's difference then i have dior let me see that um let's see there's another dior bobby brown uh, another Bobby Brown, Dior, uh, Bobby Brown, Smashbox. 
This one is nice because it has that cover and it is a thicker. I guess because Smashbox, yeah, I haven't thought about it. There's a NARS. Uh, they had that like a, that wider sort of pencil lipstick. Oh, this is NARS. I don't even know if I have Smashbox. I don't know, maybe, but you see it's thicker. All right, good to know. And, and I like the cover because it makes that you don't make a mess as you're sharpening. You can go and take it to the trash and dispose the, the little um, trash. I have Chanel. Um, I don't know what this is. Probably, who knows? And uh, now, one that I, you should see, this is kind of embarrassing to show, but I used to carry this in my purse. It's broken, it's destroyed, and I'll tell you why I keep it. Ta-da! I put a rubber band because the topper falls apart. And the topper is important to me because this little baby was the one that traveled with me. This is the one that I would put in my purse or in my makeup case or in my bathroom case to travel with. And the reason is because it had two sizes, which are always useful. And it actually had three sizes because this little plastic thing, see, it comes out. And so that even becomes a wider size. So it has three sizes, one, two, three. Now, I don't remember where I bought this and if it has a brand, but obviously I pay money for this. And it had this little plastic thing, which is now is broken, that you can do it on the go in the car and whatever. You sharpen it and the trash stay there until you got to a trash can. And so that was important to me. And so, oh, does it have the brand there? Hmm. No, it just says removable. Okay, so at least I know it's in English. But I know I use this one quite a bit. Oh, something got into my nose. <laughs> All right, so let's try them out. I mean, we're not gonna go, well, there's like five brands, right? So we'll try at least that five. And, and we'll discover. So I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury. Let's see, does this need sharpening? Yeah, so let's say, I mean, that's like that. Let's point it out. So let me use this Bobbi Brown first. So I'm gonna put it in and we're gonna sharpen. That's what it did. So it didn't bring the pointy. And see, I wouldn't keep sharpening at this moment because I have a feeling then this starts becoming, you know, it starts opening up more. And then what I have found is that sometimes the, the, the pencil cracks and then you, you come up with a full thing. So this is as much as I would sharpen it. Is it good enough? I mean, it's good enough for me Obviously, I haven't complained and, and gone in the wilder spring of finding the right sharpener. I have looked in, in on and off in the years, but obviously not enough to say, oh, I found this sharpener and this is like the best thing on earth. No, I, what did they say? I, I take it like that. So that one was Bobby Brown. Let's try a Dior. All right, so this is the other side. This one really needs sharpening. So we are sharpening, sharpening. Okay, ooh, this one did nice. So this is the Dior. See, this is good to know, I'm discovering. Nice, right? Nicer. Now, you see how it starts kind of lower in there? That's why I start getting scared because once that starts happening, they break easier. You see that? Can you see there? Let's see if you can. Yeah, that whole thing makes me a little nervous when I press because I feel that if I press too much, it will break. So I wouldn't sharpen more than that. Now that was the Dior. Now, if we wanna be, you see that one was pointier. This one was not as pointy, but it's already, should we put a little bit of the Dior and just see if it will point it out a little? Let's see. Oh, if I'm a little scared. Yeah, no. Okay, now I ruined it. I'll show you what I did. So I did two rounds. I did two rounds and he started pointing it out a little more. 
but it starts lowering this part more and that's what I'm afraid of because then they break easier. So between this two, I would use the Dior better than the Bobbi Brown because it did that, pointed it out a little more, but it's still not my favorite. I would still have a little, eh, all right. So we did that one. Let's continue. So we did uh, Bobbi Brown, we did Dior, and I'll do another Bobbi Brown, another Dior, just to, let's see if, if it is just that sharpener or if it's the actual brand. I, I don't think it's actually the brand, but. Let's do a Chanel. So Chanel, I'm gonna sharpen my, cause this one needs sharpening. This is my eyebrow pencil. So I think this came with this, so this is good. So we're gonna put here Chanel, all right. Well, it's not fair, right? Oh, this is beautiful, look at that. Oh, that's perfect. So Chanel, yeah, good job. So the Chanel one is awesome, but these two came together and this one is a different, it's a little harder, uh, more pencil-like, more wood-like. So let's try another of Charlotte Tilbury um, eyeliners. The same, oh my God, that's a little dirty. I'm sorry about that, but it will clean up with this. Let's use the Chanel sharpener and see what happens. Well, yeah, it's doing the same thing as the Dior. So there you have it. So it did, I'm sorry, that, that is dirty from probably I, I did the eye line on top of another shade and that's what had stained it. Oh, there it is a little bit. Um, all right. Okay, my point is, it did sharpen it like the other one that we like, it's more pointy, but it starts doing, lowering this a little too much. And then to me, see, uh, can you see the space? There's a little space there. That starts making me nervous because I don't want it to break. So I wonder if Charlotte Tilbury has a sharpener for this one, so I don't remember they're having it now what did i do with the top okay here so that's the chanel so we know the chanel works very well with the actual more pencil like so let's do the other side with um, oh let's do the pat mcgrath that i said that's the one i was using okay let's do now well we sharpened this one let's grab another one Let's grab the orange one. Okay. So first the brown. Oh, this needs sharpening. Yes, indeed. So this is the one I was using before the question was asked. Well, at least it was the one on top of my vanity. And so, yeah, I love this Pat McGrath one. Now, it's not making it that pointier, but it just feels as you're sharpening, like it's really grabbing, healthy. It's not grabbing too much. It's not making a big deal, but It didn't break as much this part like the other ones that I tell you makes me nervous and a little scare, but a little bit, you see that? It starts going down there, but this will be good enough. See, I like the Palma Graph one. All right, so let's cover that and let's do the other side with the Smashbox. I think the Smashbox is for a bigger one because it has a bigger hole. Might not work, let's see. Yeah, it's for a bigger one. All right, so let's try another Dior. They look a little different. This looks bigger, probably a different line or different time, but at the end, they're sharpeners, right? I mean, this is the one different. The other one looks very the same as the one we just used. So let's close this up and let's do the other side. Mm, this one has been sharpened already. I need to choose another one. Okay. This one. This is another Dior. I like the way this feels. Yeah, but it does that. 
Now, I like this Dior as well. I like the last one too. So Dior is good because it makes this short. You see, it's not, this is short, it's nice. It doesn't make the pointy pointy. And you guys, if you know a trick, maybe there's a trick of how you're supposed to do it. You know, sometimes at the stores, they really do it. Maybe they have a special one. And this other side, which is the black, let's try another Bobbi Brown. Let's give it another try because the first one we didn't like that much. So let's try another Bobbi Brown. Ooh. This one did a very good job. So maybe it has to do with your luck or the newness or, right? Yeah, that's why I didn't have one that I like and use because I feel like that, that is of luck or usage of, so right now this Bobby Brown did a very good job. I'm gonna separate it, try to use that one. Um, last but not least, we're getting there. We're getting there, folks. Like, let's see, I have this other Chanel sort of. So this is a graphite intense eye pencil. See, these ones are a little more wood. This should be easier. Let's try the, um, this other Dior. Let's see, yeah, see, this kind of very woody look, perfect, right? This kind of pencils are easier to sharpen. This is beautiful, perfect, all right. So, let's do last, the one I travel with, the one I purchased, the one I couldn't live without. Look, poor baby is being under the weather. This is when I was in corporate probably, or is being in India or, you know, apologize how it looks. It's well loved. So this is Bright Eyes, Crying Coal. I don't know, even know where I got this from. It's just made in Germany. Um, whoa, see, it makes a difference, folks. Look at that. That's why I keep it. <laughs> That's why it's like this. And unfortunately, I cannot tell you what brand it is, but, and I have no idea where I got it from, but look, perfect, right? But most likely I got it from uh, a Walgreens or Sally's. I mean, it's obviously kind of made for uh, makeup or maybe coloring because it has the three sizes. So they knew what they were doing. I mean, in the sense of they knew if people wanted to buy this, they wanted to use it for different things. So it's a good sharpener, I guess. If I find out the brand, I'm gonna open it and see inside if there's anything, any sign. But you saw the difference. Let's try a different one. Okay, I have here a Mac. Oh, this is also well loved, but this is a Mac. And I don't remember what color, but I haven't disposed of this because I really like this color. It's a brown, but it has some shine in it. See, I don't know. Anyhow, I don't remember the color of this. I can figure it out probably. Teddy, you must know Teddy. I mean, this is Mac and the ones that are permanent for years, forever, you know, the classic. So I'm gonna put it in. Yeah. Definitely. So this is about sharpener. <laughs> and I can tell you what it is. So my only recommendation, I mean, the Pat McGrath was pretty good. And what was it? The Chanel worked very good. The Bobby Brown and Dior, yeah, they were there. So what I can tell you is, I guess if you go and get a, a good sharpener from the store, I would go to Walgreens and get one, really. Um, let's try, there's a, another one. I don't know if to use, yeah. I'm just trying to see if it's not just that it was a good quality wood pencil that made it so nice with this, uh, that will look like it's ready to go to the trash. But after doing this, sticking with me, see? Yeah, so maybe it was just, it's doing that cracky thing. 
less because I don't see the separation as much as in the others, but it's doing it. At least it's keeping this top part short more than the other ones. You remember, you know what I'm talking about? So if I go into this first one, see, this one really sharp and low, and that makes me uh, feel that it might break easier. So I like this to stay short from the wood part, but this one did a great job. I think this one was the, the first Dior that we did or the Pat McGrath. I'm still gonna be using the Pat McGrath. I really think it does a great job. So, so far, okay, final thoughts. I obviously like this one that we don't know what it is. Uh, if you find one, please let me know because I need a new one, obviously. <laughs> um, but what I like is the Pat McGrath. I think they're very good. And what I really like is the Chanel. So Pat McGrath, Chanel, so far the winners but Dior, Bobby Brown could work as well. So there you have it. And most of them came with the eyeliner or the lip liner. So they were free, you know. Uh, but if you find one, please let me know. Let me know your thoughts. You saw the uh, exploration with me. So let me know what you think. <laughs> and if you prefer one or the other, or if there's a better way to sharpen them, maybe it's a technique instead of the actual tool let me know so this is the time that i uh, ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and please ring the bell on the right hand corner of your screen and please comment below and i will see you next time thank you very much bye